Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I want to talk a bit about the coronavirus um, and what we need to do about it. So I've been quite loath to make this video and this is why it's taking me so long, but I've had numerous requests from you and so I've decided to go ahead and talk about what it is that we can actually do about it during this time. So I don't want to go too much into why this virus is here and I also don't want to talk about the significance of this virus uh, because I feel that not everyone is necessarily ready to hear this information and I think that it will create more fear and what is really important at this moment is to work away from fear is to work away from panic and it's to work away from anything that causes any kind of insecurity so the kind of feeling we want to create in our lives at this moment is that of love. We want to create love, feelings of devotion, feelings of feeling secure, feelings of feeling free. Okay, so those are the four emotions or feelings that one needs to have in one's life at the moment. If we are feeling fear or panicked or constrained in any way or worried we are feeding into the energy that is part of the coronavirus pandemic. That's part of allowing this pandemic to continue. So it's important to understand that this is a time in which there is great healing possible. Now, if you're a healer and you have been trying to do healing work, you might have noticed that sometimes your channels have been blocked. Fear not. There are openings, okay? And when you have these openings, it is there's great work that's possible to be made. There's great work that's possible to be done. So it's important for you to feel this energy, to feel what it is that you're putting out there, to feel what it is that you are actually accessing and to know this, to know what it is that you're doing, to be aware of it, basically. And then when you are able to do the healing work that you are trying to do, try to do as much of it as you can. Now, one of the antidotes to this virus and to this um, this energy, rather, so I'm talking about this from an energetic point of view. I'm not claiming to uh, give you any kind of medical advice. Go and see a doctor for that. But in terms of overcoming the energy, okay, what we need to do is remain calm and collected and to understand that there are other forces at play here and not to be afraid of those forces, not to be overcome by those forces, not to surrender to those forces. All right. So you're going to find that if you are doing simply prayer or any kind of healing at all, you're going to find that if you are begging for this, if you're pleading for it, for everyone to be well, or for everyone to get better, that this energy is going to work contrary to you. So what you need to do is to give thanks for that, for the, the, for the health that you have already, or for the health that those who are unwell have already, or for all that the countries that are affected by this have already. So if we multiply the gratitude, what we're going to do is we're going to find that we are going to be able to overcome this. So it brings me to my next point, which is actually about remaining very positive in this time. So if you are someone who's a bit of a naysayer or you tend to be a bit apprehensive or you are um, you're actually quite, um, you're always looking at the glass half empty, so to say, without knowing it, you are feeding into this energy. And it's important at this moment to be as positive as you can be, to be as positive, to be looking forward to things, to be excited about things, but in a way that is not nervous energy, but love energy. It's supported by love energy and joy energy. So, in terms of overcoming this, that is like the most important thing to know right now. If we have to raise our vibration, if the whole planet had to raise their vibration 
outside of panic, outside of fear. And if we are to raise our vibration into love and joy and lightness, many things, including this virus, will become something of the past. It will it will not win. Okay? Right now, at every moment at which you're panicking or you're fear you are fearing or you're buying into um watching a lot of the news where you are actually being frightened even further when you receive these statistics. If you continue to do that we are bringing the energy of the planet down and we are not actually helping to elevate the energy of this planet. Now, in the past, uh, or you may have heard somewhere along the line of people talking about third dimensional and fifth dimensional crossings and uh, moving, shifting of the dimensions. You may have to heard about all kinds of other things which are related to that. And while I don't want to go into that, um, because I don't think it's going to be beneficial at this time. And the reason for that is because the understanding that people have of it is um, constrained by words. Okay, so when you try to put it into words, it actually changes what the meaning. And actually, when we're talking about these things, we are not really giving an accurate description of it. So I try to refrain from actually describing these things. I just describe what I know to be the truth or what I know to be undeniably the truth. And if I can express it in those words. So, but the reason I'm mentioning it is because this kind of energy relates somewhat to that. And this relates to a kind of war that we are at, um, or a battle rather, that we are at as a planet and in terms of our energy. And it's up to us to be able to win this. Now, the, so we're talking about feeling energy such as love, joy, lightness, freedom, and feeling just simply free and light and, and able, feeling able, okay? Anything else that you feel that is contrary to that, will literally create for you your, it'll manifest for you. So if you're feeling constrained or if you're feeling restricted, your that will be created around you. If, we, if you're feeling fear, you will have things to fear. You will have instances which you'll be presented with which will cause you fear. So it's important to be very aware of this right now. So I was mentioning a few minutes ago that this is also a time where great healing can take place. And the healing needs to come in the form of focusing on light, focusing only on, on light and, and gratitude and happiness. It's something that has to come forth from through you into the world, but there needs to be the space that is made to, for you to actually do this. And you need to be able to allow that to come through you and into the world. If you are feeling any fear or any hesitation, any apprehension at this time, it's going to work against you. And this is really important to know at this moment. Now, this is something that we can all overcome. This is not something that's going to necessarily defeat us. However, it is important to note that during this time, a lot of changes can take place, which will be permanent. It is important if you want to continue living in the same way with the same freedoms and human rights that you've lived with previously, that you maintain a positive vibration and that you maintain this feeling of feeling free as well as feeling of this feeling of love. Okay. The other thing is that this is also a great time in which one can actually return to oneself. One returns to oneself and one is able to, it's like the reset but button is being pressed. One is able to return to oneself and one's core and identify what is the most important things in your life. What can you live without? Where are the excesses in your life? Where are the frills in your life that you can live without? And what can't you live without? It is a time in which people can come into their own being, into themselves, 
and understand what it is that you as an individual actually needs and to be able to give yourself that. On some subconscious levels, you have been preparing for this. Every single one of us has been preparing for this. So take faith and have trust in yourself that you have all that you need at, the, at present and that it is going to be okay and that you can actually take care of yourself during this time. It is important also to note that it, one needs to stay away from naysayers. One needs to restrict communication, perhaps, with those who may be bringing your energy down in any way or lowering your vibration in any way. This is not a permanent situation, but this is something that is really important right now. So if you feel quite fragile in terms of your energy, if you are very easily influenced by others, if you believe yourself to be an empath, an empath and you actually are like a sponge taking in energy from others and, and, and putting it out there, again, you need to be extra careful about this. So I know that this is quite a, a somber message that I'm giving out today, but it's not meant to be somber. It's meant to be that we are working together to raise our vibration and that we are not feeding into the media frenzy of panic and worry, that we actually understand truly what it is that we need as a human race and to be able to move with that and work with that. Because if we don't, we will pay the price for it. We will face the consequences for it. So one of the other things that I'd like to mention here today is actually talk about briefly why in terms of the planet only. So why do we have this virus? Why is this virus out there? There are many reasons for that, which I would not like to talk about on this channel. Or this, and this, this video will probably be demonetized. Or there will be a strike against me if I have to talk about these things on this channel. So I'd rather not. But there, are, so it's important for you to know that there are many reasons why this virus exists today. Okay, that's the first point. One of the smaller reasons that ex it exists and why you should be made aware of it is that human beings for a long, long time, excuse my neighbor banging their door out there, uh, if you heard that, I hope you haven't. Um, if you have, if you are somebody who believes that you as a human being are actually the center of this planet and the most important part of this planet, that all things should revolve around you and all everything should be given to you. So the world exists to serve you okay then you are actually fooling yourself because ultimately the earth and the atmosphere the world in which we live in the universe in which we exist is actually boss here it's not human beings we are simply part of the food chain and that is what this virus is actually coming to to inform us it's coming to remind us that in fact, viruses are higher up on the food chain than we are. We are quite susceptible to them. And it's important that the world, and the planet be brought back into balance. This is not for human needs, not because we will run out of water or we will run out of gas or we will run out of food, but because the planet needs to be in balance here. So it's basically moving away from an anthropocentric point of view into one that takes into account all of nature. It's important at this moment to recognize what it is that you need to exist what it is that you need to continue your life. How many things do you need? Where do the materials that you have, that you're wearing, come from? The bags that you're carrying, the food that you're eating, all of this comes from 
lots of different sources, perhaps, not for every single one of you, but they come, it comes a long way. It, there's a lot that is destroyed in the process. There's a lot of harmony that is destroyed in the process of living. And human beings have taken over this planet. We have overpopulated this planet and we have abused the resources of this planet. And so one of the reasons that this virus exists at this moment is to simply bring that into balance. It's to bring us into balance by showing us that we are not boss, that we are not the most important species on this planet, and that there are other species that also need to be reckoned with. Okay, so that is actually something that needs to be thought about and we need to change our behavior as a human race in order to continue existing and if we are if we don't we will be made to the world is changing very quickly at the moment and there is a lot that we can gain from and there is a lot that we can give and it is important to remain in a state of love and healing and to pray in terms of healing, to give out energy, to give out light, to give out good thoughts as much as we can during this time. I invite you to take a moment with me now to send healing and to send love out into the, onto the planet to everyone every single being on this planet, whether it be a plant, animal, human, whether the human be unwell, well, may this energy of love and healing reach you and may you be transformed in a positive way with this energy. May you receive the enlightenment that you need during this time. And may you feel the love that is innate to you. Bring forth that love. Let it flourish in you. And let it reach beyond you. And so it is. I leave you with that. Stay blessed, stay well and stay healthy. I know you're going to be fine. Okay, lots and lots of love to you all and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.